Okay, so I'm going to be installing the expansion EXS3 uh, for the Corgo Oasis. It's a brass and woodwinds um, expansion, and it doesn't normally come in um, added in the in the Corgo Oasis. So you have to get a a, a link to um, be able to download that information onto a CD. And so I got uh, two CDs that I just uh, uh, burned. And it has the EXS3 on there. So if you notice here, I got the EXS1, EXS2, STR1, LAC1. Anyways, um, to get the authorization codes, you have to um, contact CORE, give them their your your public ID number and your <coughs> Oasis uh, serial number, and they could probably help you out, giving you those numbers that you need. Once you got them, then you can you know click on here, and I'll tell you to. Uh, select the, the authorization and um, then you can put an authorization authorization number in there and that's pretty much it so I'm going to be showing you how to do that first I'm going to be um, putting in the CDs and I'll show you what the process is okay so I just popped in the first CD in here the first disc one and I'm going to turn I turned off the Oasis and I want to turn it back on and uh, we're gonna see what it does. Um, supposedly, it's probably gonna read what's in there. So this is what it's telling me when I put in the first CD. Oasis installer for EXS3 brass and woodwinds version 1.0.0. So it says, are you sh sure you want to install EXS3 brass and woodwinds? Press enter, switch for OK, and cancel. OK, so we're going to do enter. OK. So here we are, and it's now updating the system. Like I showed in the, in the first uh, half of the video, um, it had the expansions that are already in there. And they were authorized, but the EXS3 expansion was not in there. And that, uh, I pretty much had to burn that an ISO image that they sent me from Korg and uh, burn it onto a C two CDs. So right now that CD is in there, and right now it's uh, updating the system. Okay, again, uh, we're just here waiting, um, waiting for it to update. takes a takes a while. The first CD is about close to 700 megabytes and the second CD is about 80 megabytes close to 80, 80 megabytes and um, so you can see there it's still still loading okay now it told me to insert CD number two and press enter we're gonna do that we're gonna take CD one out and follow the instructions here's CD number two that I burned put it in there and now we're gonna see what happens uh, now it says press enter okay and uh, now it seems like it's reading the disk again let's try pressing enter one more time just to see if it changes so I put the CD number two and this is how you install the expansion EXS3 Brass and Woodwinds. So it looks like something's uh, loading in there still. I already pressed enter and it's still showing it, but it looks like it's loading something on there. So let me see. Press enter again, just in case. Well, it looks like it's loading, so I'm gonna let it, let it do its thing. Okay, so now it says update complete and remove CD. So now we're just gonna power down. And before that, we're gonna just take the CD out. And then we're just gonna power down. Okay, so I just powered it back up after I removed the CD number two. 
and um, now it's loading took the CD out so it's not booting from the CD booting from the hard drive and uh, right now it's loading now it's loading uh, all the, the expansions and everything let's see if it uh, did it properly So now right here it says EXS1, EXS2, but it doesn't have EXS3, so I want to see what's up with that. So as soon as it powers up, push OK, and I'm going to go to Global, go to uh, Plugin Info. There it is, EXS3, Brass and Woodwinds right now it's in demo mode so so right here is where you normally would authorize it okay so right there we're gonna enter the code and we're gonna push OK and then it should say authorized you know just like the rest of these so that's how you install EXS3 brass and woodwinds and I'm gonna authorize it right now Okay, I just put the last uh, numbers that they gave me for the authorization of the EXS3 and I want to push OK. Here we go. Alright. Authorized. Alright. So now if we turn it off, turn it back on, back again, turn it back off again. I'm going to see if it. Okay, back again. We just booted it up again after I just authorized it. And um, it's loading up again. And we're going to see if it says EXS3 now. Um, it didn't do it the first time after the CD, after all the update was complete. Um, so it said I had to authorize it. I just authorized it. Pushed OK. Powered it down. EXS3, the very end, that's what I wanted to see. 1.3.3, everything's up to date, 2 gigs. Alright, hope this video helped you, and um, that's pretty much it. And uh, later I'm going to do another video on how to change the hard drive. I'm going to change the hard drive to an SSD, see if it, it loads faster on samples.